Well, some of the things we have on our plate are different crusades uh, in Honduras from about the 15th of August to the end of the month. We have four different or uh, five different towns which we will be doing crusades in, and we'll be getting as much, um, you know, as many pictures and videos and stuff to you as possible. We need your prayer for that because these are all open air, and uh, quite frankly, Honduras is a dangerous place, you know. So anyway, and uh, then we have the Dignata Bible School. It's actually called the uh, School of Justice and Transformation. And uh, this is God's justice. You know that Dignata has actually started, um, well, let me give you a little bit of history. They work with trafficked women and at-risk people. And these people need jobs because once they come out of whatever they're trafficked into, usually prostitution, then there's a, a real problem with them having an income. And so what we do uh, at this point is, um, if the inside isn't changed, then any changes made to the outside are only temporary. So we have a Bible training school. I hate to say it like that, but that's really what it is. The idea is uh, they give their lives to Christ and then they get trained on the inside to get God's word hid in their heart that they might not sin against them. And this equips them to have the kind of integrity and character and personality that they can get a job. They can actually, uh, you know, make the jewelry, sell the jewelry and, and make a living besides what they were trafficked into, you know, because um, uh, going back to the same old, you know, thing is always a problem. For those of you that work with or know about human trafficking, it's always a... Uh, um, recidivism rate is really high. That just means going back to the same old thing. So anyway, uh, pray, uh, pray, pray for that. School starts September 11th in Montana, and that's really going to be uh, fabulous. Some of the greatest teachers in the world are showing up at this um, at this training center. Last but not least, for sure, is the Wampi situation. We are going into the Amazon in South America. We're waiting for dates to go into Brazil, which in this place called the Valley of Javari, they have the highest um, unreached people concentration group on earth there. And it's highly protected by the Brazilian government. Foreigners, even Brazilians, a lot of people just can't get in there. It's a no-go zone, but we have some friends in Iquitos, uh, Peru, Peru, that have a uh, water well drilling company, and they have uh, a contract with the Brazilian government to go in there, and so they are, they're going to bring some missionaries with them as well, and we're going to preach the gospel while they drill water drills or holes, water wells, and uh, so pray for that. We have the Wampis. Um, I am one of these guys that believes that there can be no... Uh, there can be no prosperity without the Word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. You look at all the nations of the world, what's great and what made it and what didn't, well, it's all based on their respect for the Judeo-Christian platform, for the Word of God. And uh, as a matter of fact, you can hear the Word of God and not be saved, but the inverse is not true. You cannot be saved unless you hear the Word of God. So uh, we have the Gospel according to Mark all done, recorded in their dialect. Wampis, and we have the cassette players. Thank you very much, those of you who provided the finances for that. And these are solar powered because they don't they don't have electricity there. So anyway, uh, we're taking those down there to give the the Wampis territory inside the Amazon jungle is actually it's the size of Connecticut. Okay, so it's pretty big. There's a lot of people there. So far, we have 500 players. And uh, but that's, um, you know, toehold is better than no hold. We're going in there and we're going to distribute those. And we have Christian people. I personally got to pray with 16 Wampy tribal people to receive Christ. So we're looking for more. So all this stuff, um, unless the Lord builds the city, they that labor, labor in vain that build it. We need your prayers for the Lord of the harvest to keep sending us in. OK, I think Maria wants to say a couple, you know, things. Um, Maybe in Spanish, I don't know. Try. I just want to thank you for being uh, in the gap for the gospel, and uh, especially for the One Piece and the Amazon. I I just want to say thank you for that. And uh, quiero decirle gracias por sus oraciones. Gracias por todo lo que ustedes están haciendo por la obra de Dios en eh, las Amazonas y, y en otros lugares de Centroamérica. Que Dios le bendiga y estamos alegre que ustedes están a nuestro lado en oración y en ayuda. Yes. Dios le bendiga. Dios le bendiga. Bye. God bless you guys. We love you.